okay for today's video I'm gonna teach you how to export data from your SQL to a CSV file automatically so if you already have created your table and you want all the data from your table to be transmitted directly to an a CSV file automatically shall I say for every day weekly it's uh, very is easy to do so first thing to do is to create a batch file create a f before creating a batch file you need to create a certain location on where you want the CSV file to be saved in my case I'm gonna save it on my full documents And after that, if you already have a location, you need to add, you need to create a batch file. So how to create a batch file is very easy. Just just click new text document, change the extension file into BAT or BAT. Click yes, edit. So here, this is the example of the script. So before 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 we save this I'm gonna explain this what what is this so you are creating a command for an SQL server transact or an SQL statement or script this is what it means the negative s is your is the database name or the server name which in my case how to see that is go to your main database click properties copy the name so this is important that your database is the same from this and the D is the database the database name that you created so in my case my database name is test database copy it paste it and the E option stands for the trusted connection or the integrated security means the command will use the currently log in users credential to connect your database and the Q means to select from what database table so my table name is TBL database I'm gonna copy it paste it here and if you want to acquire all the data from your database in a specific order so you can add order and the column name so in my case I'm gonna put I'm gonna arrange it according to CPU load And the uh, S we're gonna set the column separator into comma, which is this. And the query result will be formatted with commas between the columns, making it a CSV, uh, which means the comma separated values and format. So the O stands for the location on where the CSV file to be saved. In my case, I created a folder in my documents, which is this one. You just copy the location, change this, and the last thing is the name of the CSV file. So I'm gonna name this. This is the name of the CSV file. So database. data okay and and this one is the it, it will extract the date the year and the month and it's gonna be arranged as year the month and the date so don't worry I'm gonna paste this script on the link below 
so after that don't forget to save it after saving it try to run it after running you see it generated this CSV file with date on it so if I open this I'm gonna see all the values from the database to a CSV file as you can see it was being arranged according to CPU load from 1, 5, 6 to ascending order so it's very easy now the interesting part is how to save this every day so lucky we have Windows 10 features any, any OS have this so you have the task scheduler go to start Types task scheduler. Once you open the task scheduler, create a basic task. You name it uh, auto save. So in my case, I'm gonna save it every day, every 24 hours. It's up to you, or even you're gonna take the data weekly, monthly, or only one time. In my case, I'm gonna do it daily. So the recording is every six. What time now? It's 6.35. Let's make it fast so that we can see if it will generate. So, click next. Start a program. Browse the batch file that you create. You need to be fast because I set it to 35. Now it's 6.33. Where is it? SQL. Next finish now it's done around 635 it's gonna generate the SQL so let's double check we still have time one minute this is okay that's correct let's go to the folder delete this so that we can see if it's generate automatically now all we have to do is to wait So chill for a little bit, gonna take 30 seconds to generate the file from our database. All right, you see, it automatically generated the file. Let's open it. As you can see, you already have the values on your from your database, and it was being arranged according to the CPU load. Now since you're generating it every day you want to delete it to to again generate another values then save for another day so how to do that the same thing you need to add a batch file to delete the files or that the values from your table i'm gonna name it as delete same thing you're gonna change the extension file to bat batch file edit it oh sorry I open it so it's very easy just type the SQL command code the CMD S for your database name I mean the server name copy it and the database database name just the test database paste it 
then execute a query which is delete from bracket open and close bracket delete from what table copy paste and that's it save close this is our database we're gonna execute it as you can see you still have a values now if we run this automatically also using the task scheduler once it's executed go to your database execute it you see nothing now it generate another values so it's very easy